Oh, this control. I'm done. Previous ops, that uh, is a resume of what happened in Metal Gear Solid 1. We just played that so we don't need it. Check the rank of your last finished game. Not possible, okay. Continue previously saved game. So this actually has saved games, so it might be a bit longer, which is good. Start a new game, warning existing save game is deleted. Okay, I gotta do one thing though. I hope that actually does what I wanted to do. Nope, it didn't. Wait, wasn't it? Pretty sure that was it. Yeah, okay, there we go. Because in this game you have to use X and Z, but Z on the German keyboard is like way, way, uh, it's like right next to the T. It's pretty far away from the X, so. I just set my keyboard to uh, to the English layout. Um, I hope there are no spoilers. Uh, seeing that this is based on probably Metal Gear Solid 2, I guess. I don't think so. I mean, maybe there's like some kind of dialogue talk, uh, some kind of like, like, you know, talk about some stuff that happened in the games. But I don't know. I, I have no idea. I've only seen like the first two minutes of this game. So. I'm going in blind. Oops. There we go. Okay. Save it. Three years after the Secret Santa incident, we had classified information that a new Santa had taken power. The whole thing was naughty, but our noses had been on the call too long. This is Snake. Do you read me, Otacon? Loud and clear, Snake. Looks like the stocking stocking is busted. Ah, uh, what stocking stocking? The stocking you had me wear. You said it was made with synthetic octopus fibers that would make me nearly invisible to the human eye. You didn't really, <laughs> Snake. That was just an ordinary... Right. I didn't plan on relying on this gadget anyway. Well... I'm just happy you managed to get to the sneak point without getting yourself hurt. I'm happy as long as no one gives me any more unwanted gifts. Oh, you mean that thing with Naomi? No, I'm talking about Cole. How am I supposed to have a Merry Christmas if that's all I get these days? Well, Snake, it's been a while since anyone's had a truly Merry Christmas. What with the sudden surge of PNCs popping up around the world. PNCs? Pretty naughty children. Naughty doesn't even begin to describe them. They're more like hired mercenaries selling their services to the highest bidder. It used to be just a few rogue groups, but now it's become a global phenomenon. In fact, the world's seen the creation of at least a dozen PNCs in the past three years alone. So it all started three years ago. That's about the time I assassinated Big P... Uh, Saint Nick. That's right. It's likely that Saint Nick's death lies at the root of all of these problems. After all, he did play an important role in the SOC system. SOC system? The Spirit of Christmas system. A series of checks and balances created by the three wise men in order to maintain an equal balance huh. of naughty and nice. And without a Saint Nick to keep the SOC system in check, there hasn't been an incentive to be nice. That's right, Snake. We've dropped you off at Outer Savin Mall. Outer Savin? Yeah, you know, the one mall in which shoppers will always have a place. Let me guess. <laughs> I'm not just here to do some last-minute Christmas shopping. Afraid not, Snake. I recently dug up some information on the U.S. government's encrypted security channel about an extremist group that calls themselves the Ghosts of Christmas Past. The information I've uncovered shows that they've got their hands on 
on Santa's hat. What's so dangerous about a hat? It's not so much the hat itself as it is the beliefs behind it. Whoever controls Santa's hat has full control over the SOC system. And whoever controls the SOC system has full control over the entire child population of the world. So what? The ghosts have threatened to use the hat to create a world of PNCs. A world of perpetual naughtiness! That's right. <laughs> the ghosts are demanding the brain of Saint Nick. But it's anyone's guess as to what they're gonna do with it. It's gotta be something big. Something worth using the entire world's child population as a bargaining chip for. Something like... Metal Gear. No, Snake. There's absolutely <laughs> no reason to jump to conclusions. All we know is that the ghosts wow. have arranged a meeting with the US president somewhere in that mall. Your mission is to find out what's going on, and to put a stop to the ghosts' plan before the meeting takes place. Gotcha. For the duration of this mission, we'll be referring to each other by code names. What's wrong with my old code name? What? Old Snake? No. Solid Snake. No one's called you that in years. Yeah, but... Look, I'll let you decide for yourself. Would you rather be called <laughs> Old Snake or Cold Snake? Uh, cold Snake, <laughs> I guess. Good. Remember, Snake, the ghosts have Santa's oh. hat, which means that any children you run into during the mission are under their control. Do whatever it takes to stay out of the enemy's field of vision. Got it. Head to the elevator. I'll be giving you advice and instructions via codec. My frequency is 012.25. Good luck. That frequency was actually the frequency of last game, by the way. I'm supposed to show it's been running for three minutes now, but this is just too good to listen to. <laughs> yeah. No problem, Simpson. I don't, I don't blame you for that. This game is way too good. Also, we actually walk fast in this game. Oh. Hold it, Snake. It's foolish to run headfirst into every situation. By holding the shift key near a wall, you can hug up against it. Doing so will allow you to get a better view of what's up ahead. Can I hold the shift key near a kid? No, Snake. Stranger danger. <laughs> what? Come on. Holy shit. Yeah, see ya, Simpson. I'll be playing some Wind Waker HD later on, so I hope you don't you don't miss that. Just my imagination. Wait, what did he say? You can always access me via codec by pressing the C button. If you find yourself in a difficult situation, just give me a call. Um, I can hold shift near a wall to, to hug up against it. And Snake was asking, can I hold shift near a kid? <laughs> nope. Stranger danger. Oh god, this is actually icy. Um... Okay. This is literally ice. I press right once. Oops. And he keeps walking. I can change directions though. That's good. Uh okay. What? That kid ahead is guarding that landing pad mm. pretty carefully. You should try distracting him by knocking on a nearby wall. To do that, hug a wall with the shift key and then press the control key to make a noise. Any nearby guards will come investigate the source of the noise. You can use this to open up a sneaking path. So I press control while hugging a wall to knock on it. Got it. Say, Otacon. Yeah? Knock knock. Oh, what was that noise? Er, uh, you're supposed to say who's there. It's just my imagination. Uh. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, uh... Yep. And we in there. That elevator though. Can I please? Okay. I forgot to tell you about the Jolaton Radar. The Jolaton Radar is the thing in the upper right hand corner of your screen. 
It's based huh. on the same Jolly Ton technology that allows shoppers to easily find the exact locations of the presents they're looking for. But don't be fooled. There's a big difference between the existing Jolly Ton technology and the special Jolly Ton radar you're equipped with. What's the difference? Well, the subtle swapping of the Y in Jolly Ton to an I in your Jolly Ton radar trickles down to its functionality. Whereas the Jolly Ton radar could only detect Christmas presents, the Jolly Ton radar is capable of detecting presents of any kind, including human presents. Bingo. I'm guessing that white dot is me. That's right. What about the red ones? Those dots represent an enemy's presence. Watch out and stay outside of that enemy's field of vision. That's the blue cone, right? Yep. Also, you might have noticed the radar was unusable on the rooftop. Sometimes there's too much interference. In those cases, the Jolaton radar will be jammed. Anything I can do about that? Uh, afraid not. Hmm. So you're saying this is a Jolaton radar? that you made modifications to. Yep, a specially modified Jolly Ton radar. <laughs> I would have called it the Autoton radar, but- You sure this isn't just my old Soliton radar? Because Mei Ling made no, that- No, not at all. But, uh, look, Snake, we don't have time <laughs> for idle chit-chat. <laughs> uh, too good.